strategic crowd right here. <laughs> How about that? That's what you get. expecting that. How do you feel to be doing? back out there? Good. Yeah, good. Good to get out there with the guys and see what we could do. Um, got a long way to go. So, but you know, preseason's over and got to start putting it together for the regular season. It's going to be a big challenge for us. So, um, you know, whoever ends up making the making the squad's going to have to make a big contribution to what we're doing. A lot of guys have worked really hard to put themselves in position, and um, always a tough time of year when the preseason ends, and you know, some guys have to go different directions with their career, but um, kind of the nature of what we're dealing with and the guys that are around have to come in and do the best they can do for this team. Tom, how, how much was this week? Did it, did it do you what you wanted this week to be to get back into rhythm and back with the team like you wanted? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we've, we've all been working at different things. Um, but being out there with, you know, obviously Julio and Mike and um, hopefully Chris will be out there. Um, you know, hopefully Russ will be out there. Um, but the tight ends, the backs have all done a good job. You know, we've had some injuries with the line and so forth, which we're dealing with. But, um, you know, try to try to put together a good unit to go out there and compete. But uh, we got two weeks to the first game, playing against a really good opponent in Dallas. And uh, it's going to be a big test for us. So it should be fun to kick off the season in uh, 15 days in Dallas on Sunday Night Football. It doesn't get much better than that. Tom, do you feel you're where you want to be? Played a lot of football in my day, so you know a lot of seasons, a lot of games, a lot of practices. So I feel pretty good. Was the decision to step away difficult for you? I'm sorry. Was the decision to step away for for 10, 11 days difficult for you to make? Mm -mm. No. Was that prearranged as part of you coming back to the team, like a, a grand plan of? Taking it's all personal, you know. Everyone's got different situations they're dealing with, so we all have really unique challenges to our life, and uh, you know, we're. 45 years old, man. There's a lot of shit going on, so you know, you just gotta try to figure out life the best you can, and um, you know, it's a uh, continuous process. So, can you talk about your uh, chemistry with Julio Jones in, in the short time you've been together? Julio is really easy to have chemistry with. He's an elite wide receiver in the NFL, so uh, to have the opportunity for me to play with Mike and Chris, um, Julio, Antonio. Randy Moss, Wes Welker, um, Julian Edelman, Danny Amendola, um, Troy Brown, David Patton. It's really a amazing, uh, amongst many other guys too, tight ends like Gronk and, and uh, Ben Watson. You know, I'm very blessed in my football career to play with a lot of amazing players that have elevated me personally and professionally to be the best I could be. So. Very grateful to all these guys for the role they played in my life and uh, kind of the what we give to each other, really, which is what the sport's all about. You know, the amazing communication and, and uh, you know, day after day work ethic to try to, um, you know, bring great purpose to what you do in life. With, with respect to your, the fact that you said these are personal issues, um, do you feel like you were able to handle take care, address the things that you needed to address? Are you are you in a good place now? I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Well, how concerned are you about the center position? You lost Ryan Jensen. Obviously, Hainsey's come in. He had to go out of the game. Then Dick hurt his shoulder. Is this a concern of yours right now? Tough position. I mean, that's a big position for an offense, uh, center position. And uh, obviously, we all hated to lose Ryan. Um, the extent of that, you know, we're still trying to figure out. But uh, it's going to be a while, and, you know, uh, Haynes, he stepped in, done a good job. He worked really hard to gain the confidence of his teammates last year, trust of the whole organization. And, uh, you know, he's going to have to do a great job and hopefully he can get over what happened tonight and be ready to go. But, you know, that remains to be seen. And then it's an it's amazing thing about football. It's a big challenge. You know, you think you're really set, and then all of a sudden, you know, that third guard position isn't that important until one of the first two gets hurt, and then there it is. And it's. That's just the way football is. You got to learn to adjust, and you got to have the right scheme. And it's a 17-game season now, so it's a lot of a uh, lot of things over the course of the year that you have to adjust to. And we're adjusting early, which is typically the case, and probably every team's doing it. But um, for us on the offense side of the ball, that's a big position for us to be able to have to figure out. Tom, Jason, Jason Light had said he thought you would come back from this break even more focused. Do you, do you think that's the case? I feel good. I feel good.
What, did, what does it mean I for you? I played football for a long time, so I'm pretty good at it. It doesn't take long for me to remember how to play it. Well, Tom, there are a couple of exceptionally talented receivers that are probably not going to make the roster here. Can you just give some perspective on the depth of the roster here and some guys that might not make it? Yeah, I don't know, you know, the extent that, you know, who's going to make it and who's not going to make it. Those are all things that are decided by, you know, a lot of other people. But, you know, there's a lot of talented guys we have. There's a lot of guys that, um, you know, deserve to be in the NFL. So I hope they're all with us. You know, it's, it's very rare to go through the season and not have people banged up at receiver, too. So you're going to need a lot of depth at that position. The fact that we kind of know all our guys, know what they can do well, you know, I think it serves us all to try to keep as many good guys as we can. What did it mean that the organization, you know, was willing to work with you on this? Understanding you do have a life outside of football. You're, you're more than just a football player. You know, you needed to tend to something away from the team. I think, you know, since I came to this organization, it's been an amazing, uh, you know, it's just been an amazing experience for me to come to this place and be as supportive as I had over a long period of time. And, you know, I read all these stories about all these different places I was supposed to go or could have gone. And I'm like, I only was going to go to, you know, one place, which was here. You know, and I think this whole organization knows that. And all the conversations that we've had over a period of time, I chose the right place for me. And uh, very proud of the effort that everyone's put in to make the relationship work. And uh, Joel's been amazing. Um, Jason's a great friend of mine. Uh, Bruce, Todd, uh, all the coaches. Um, it's been an amazing relationship. I'm very grateful to everybody for allowing me to come down here and experience this part of my football life, which uh, you know, I look back and would probably be incomplete had I not had it. So I'm happy I ha I've had it. Good to see you Thank back. You. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, thank Thanks, you, guys. Tom. Appreciate it.